passed. Aww. Told you. Motion passes. What am I looking at right now? During my courtroom experience, what does it mean when something is about to set in the court into motion? From jury duty and non-trial profits. It's gonna set out on a person for their final passes to the final motion. Go to the title card. Justin Television here. I'm so happy and excited. Today is Monday, November 7, um, 2022. And this episode for my YouTube channel is all about the courtroom. Have you ever, ha have you guys ever out there went into a courtroom for jury duty or other trials into motion? So yeah, me personally, two weeks ago on Wednesday, October 26, my first jury duty experience, uh, there was a lot of people in the courtroom to find out what the case is going to be. But I cannot discuss the case of the person because that's that's confidentiality for jury duty. I cannot I cannot mention this. I just saw what I saw: a big courtroom with a lot of people, a lot of jurors, and a lot of uh, patrons behind the juror seats. And, and there's a lot of trials going on with a lot of trials and a lot of misleading misconceptions and inconsistency to the story. Like for example, last weekend I was watching the Rugrats. Uh, the episode, the trial, when Angelica states a trial to find out who broke Tommy's clown lamp. It's the same similarity as the trial in jury duty. The same similarity when uh, the defendant or the plaintiff is innocent or guilty to find out what happened through the course of the story. Like what the story is going to be about, where does it take place, and the two people, which is the two persons, the plaintiff and the defendant. So yeah, a lot of motions has been going around lately, especially for courtrooms, and you don't know, know what to experience or what to see or what to say, because jury duty is just like on television. This woman was so excited to tell her husband jury duty is, and he got mad at her, because this woman said to a man next to the jury room, good morning, oh, good morning, and they were discussing about what jury duty was and stuff like that. I experienced jury duty for the first time this year, because my first jury duty summons was in the year 2010, but my mom had to cancel it, because I was still going to high school at that time. I was still going to high school, because when you're 18 and older, like 18 through 21 and older, you get a jury duty summon and you could go for like one, two or three days time served and they will pay you like $40. They will pay you like $40 for each day to serve. So for the first jury duty summons I got was in the year 2010 because in the year 2010, I already turned 18 because when you're 18 or 21 and older, you get your first jury duty summons and then and and then during my high school years, my mom had to cancel it because I was going to school and I can't miss a few days of school because let's say if you got selected as a juror and you will not return to school or work through through the duration of the trial. So yeah, the first jury duty summons I experienced was in 2010, but my mom had to cancel it because I was going to high school at that time. I was a high school student at that time. That was my first jury duty summons. And my, up, and my second jury duty summons was somewhere in the year 2014 and 15, my second jury duty summons. But my mom had to cancel it again because she was hospitalized to get her lower stomach surgery. She was hospitalized three times, my mom. 2014, 2015, and 2016, my mom was hospitalized because she had to get a couple of surgeries. So anyway, my final jury duty summons was this year, 2022. 
and with my legal name change as Justin because my first jury duty summons was Catherine because like I said, I used to be Catherine, but that's no longer my name anymore. My name is Justin now. I'm legally Justin and I'm legally a boy now too. So in these, in these separate cases about motion passing for any courtroom's dis jury's decision to find out when, when the, the plaintiff or the defendant is innocent or guilty due to the state of the trial regulations, they need proof, evidence, and gather all the information for that person. If that person's telling the truth or the person is telling a lie, yeah, just to, to confirm it with their, with their lawyers, their plaintiff lawyer and the defendant lawyer just to get the gist of things. So yeah, courtroom consideration, whether the defendant or plaintiff is innocent or guilty, whatever whatever the subject they're gonna talk about, whatever trial they're talking about. Because there's so many different trials to talk about. This is the Vincenzo trial. This is the Lorenzo trial. This is the Justin Television trial. This is the Mary Lou trial. This is. Mildred trial, any type of trial has a different name and what the trial is most likely to be about until they found out all the sources and evidence to find out if that person was there or if that person wasn't there, gather all the clues and the evidence to show the judge whether the plaintiff or the defendant is either innocent or guilty, who's either telling the truth or telling a lie because of the stories they found out with a lot of articles and papers and video recordings and picture taking all the gathered source of evidence to find out what that person did on that particular day they need to gather up all the information and the evidence to clear up to the judge and to show the jurors and to show the the patrons outside the courtroom the patrons behind the jurors seats because the jurors seats is between either the right or the left side of the courtroom either the right or the left side of the courtroom that's the juror seats but in the front of the courtroom seats is for the patrons the patrons patron seats in the middle and in the left side of the courtroom or the right side of the courtroom is the jurors seats the juror seats when it comes to jury duty trial information and like i said it's just like on television they were telling their best friends, their husbands, their families how exciting or not exciting jury duty is. And that's it. So yeah. Motion passed. And to the next story um, to, to tell and to confront. They would check out the trial for the next cases if that person is innocent or guilty. And then they will vote. The, the jurors will vote and they will go to the chambers room with the judge and the the lawyer's assistant to go into the jury room so they can all discuss it and write it down in their notes and get every information and piece that, that they need so they can finally conclude the jury duty episode to find out that person is innocent or guilty in this case. They will write it up and they will discuss it with everybody around the same room. Guilty, yes. Guilty, ah. Guilty, yes. Guilty, ah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. And one not guilty. Hey, hey. Hey, lady, what part of this is second is it you don't understand, eh? So, yeah, they will all put a vote on it in the jurors' room for like a couple of days. How many days they served, especially if th those people out there go got jobs that they have to go to work and, and, and they have to not go back to work through through the duration of the trial and, and they will get all the information they need every single juror in the chambers room with the with the judge and the judge assistant and like many people hear this all the time do you swear that this this defendant or plaintiff is still under oath do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the whole truth nothing but the truth i do you hear that all the time from every single jury every single courtroom any trial for any jury, whether the, the plaintiff or the defendant is innocent or guilty, they need all the evidence they can they can claim and prove to show it to the judge and to show it to the jurors and to show it to the patrons as well. Jury duty has many, many different cases. To put yourself into the courtroom with a lot of jurors that you personally don't know and you have to like see 
in, in the courtroom to hear what this trial is all about. Is that person telling the truth or is that person telling a lie? Once they gather all the evidence and all of the information, they will seriously conclude the end of the trial and then they will put a vote on it. And then as the jury reached his verdict, that person is not guilty. Yay, yay. Sir, you're free to go. Court dismissed. He, the judge hits the gavel. They finally solved the case. The person is innocent. He's free to go. And there's another one. After the jury reached his verdict, the female defendant find guilty. Oh, 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 yeah, that bitch is guilty. She's a fucking liar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, that bitch is going away for a long time. Sheriff, please hand in custody and take this female away. You're under arrest for assaulting your property. You're going away for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Get that bitch out of here. Get that bitch out of here. So there you have it, you guys. A lot of different cases during jury duty to find out proof and evidence of that person defended or the plaintiff either innocent or guilty. And then at the end, the jurors clap their hands and the patrons clap their hands to find out the truth of that person once and for all. Okay, you guys, I hope you find this video very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And let me know in the comments below what is your jury duty experience on television or in person or in real life. Let me know, and I'll be happy enough to hear it. Hit that, hit that like button. Leave some comments if you wish to please. And hit or jam that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be able to upload plenty more episodes in the nearest future. See you guys next time. See you guys next time.